Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through rational numbers. Today, we are going to discuss additive identity and additive inverse. In our previous sessions, we discussed the commutative property and the associative property of rational numbers. The commutative property of rational numbers for addition says that for any two rational numbers a and b, a plus b equals b plus a. For example, 2 by 3 plus 0 is equal to 2 by 3 is equal to 0 plus 2 by 3. Here, 2 by 3 and 0 are the elements in a set of rational numbers, and when we add 2 by 3 to 0, we get the same number itself. If we add minus 7 by 9 to 0, then we get minus 7 by 9. Here also, we get the same number itself. So we called 0 the additive identity for the given number. That is, the additive identity is a number that, when added to any other number, does not change the value of that number. The additive identity is usually denoted by zero. In general, we can say that, for a rational number, a, a plus zero equals, zero plus a equals a, or a plus zero equals a. Now we have, a plus zero equals a, or we can write it as, a plus minus a equals zero. Here we get an element minus a, which when added to the original number a results in additive identity zero. And we called minus a as the additive inverse of a. In general, we can say that the additive inverse of any number a is represented by minus a. So the additive inverse of a is minus a because a plus minus a equals zero here a is a number minus a is its additive inverse and zero is the additive identity therefore a number plus its additive inverse gives the additive identity for example the additive inverse of 5 is minus 5 because 5 plus minus 5 is equal to 0. Similarly, the additive inverse of minus 1 by 3 is 1 by 3. Because minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 equals 0. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today we discussed additive identity and additive inverse. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. 1. What is the additive inverse of minus 3 by 8? 2. Is 0 0.5 the additive inverse of minus 1 by 2? Why or why not? That's all for now. See you all in the next class.